And for our next story, we're going to be trading in one bridge for another as we head further north to the tip of the mid. The Mackinac Bridge was built in the mid-50s, and during its construction, West Michigan-based photographer Henry Zeman snapped spectacular and rare color photos. Henry Zeman passed in 2015, but now his family is sharing his incredible images with the world. Most photos of the building of the Mackinac Bridge that you're likely to come across will look like this. An impressive sight for sure, but even more impressive is a sight like this. Color photography was still relatively uncommon during the mid-1950s, so most photos of the bridge's construction are in black and white. But between 1954 and 1957, West Michigan-based photographer Henry Zayman would snap these incredible color photos. Henry was a photographer for the Grand Rapids Press from 1952 to 1987. During his career that spanned decades, Henry would photograph presidents, athletes, and what was perhaps most close to his heart, the beauty of the outdoors. He had numerous photos make their way into publications like Field and Stream, Outdoor Life, and Sports Illustrated. However, these stunning photos of Michigan's most famous landmark weren't an assignment for Henry. No, these pictures were a part of his personal collection, and after Henry's passing in 2015, his family decided to share them with the world. You know, we had all seen them when we were kids and things, but, you know, they were just kind of sitting in the basement collecting dust. What we, you know, and there's really no way to really view them. So what we did is we sent them off and had them digitized. And a smattering of them I sent out. The bridge photos, because I knew, I think the historical significance of them. And in looking what was out there, there really wasn't that great of photographs out there and there was virtually no color. So when, when he was shooting, you know, most of the time for the press during those years, it was all black and white. Um, I don't think they really used much color at all till much, much later than that. So these would have been things that he shot on his personal camera, you know, when he was also up there doing other things. Throughout the series of photographs, you can witness the construction of the bridge in multiple stages of completion. In some shots, huge sections of the bridge's massive 3,800-foot span are completely gone. One of the most striking differences, though, between the bridge we see today and the one in Henry's photographs is the coloring of the bridge. The barren steel superstructure without its trademark paint job makes the Mighty Mac almost unrecognizable. We also see lots of shots of the crews working on the bridge, the brave workers who toiled for years to make this seemingly impossible feat a reality. I think this was something that was a little special to him. He spent a lot of time in the UP. He went over there quite a bit. He talked about you know before the bridge and always riding the ferry and that type of thing. So, I mean, I think he was always pretty proud to be able to say that he was able to photograph that during its construction. And as you can see by some of the photographs, he was able to get on the bridge and up the towers. And, and he had rain to go in certain places during that construction because of his press credentials. He was married in 54, and I know they went to the UP, you know, during their honeymoon, and some of the photographs in there were at the start of the building of the bridge, and I think we're, we're taken on his honeymoon, for example. Thanks to Henry's passion for photography, a monumental moment in Michigan's history will live on for years and years to come. But with a career that spanned nearly 40 years, these photos are just the tip of the iceberg of Henry's photographic collection. You can imagine, here's a person that's got a life's work of photography. I mean, and it, it all ended up in my basement, by the way. So down there, I would have to guess and say there's probably a million photographs between slides and negatives. 